All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So we've talked about views. We've talked about transport. And now we're going to talk about the LCD. Okay, but before we do that, I want to talk to you about this line right here. With the little diamond icon kind of thing on top of it. If I click on this and I hold and I drag it, see this line moves around. If I were to hit play, the line moves, right? This, you've already heard me refer to this as the playhead. That's what this is. This is the playhead. The playhead tells you where you are at in the song. Okay, so that's going to all make sense here in a second when I start talking to you about the LCD. So you already know that these numbers up here are the bars. These are the bars or the measures of the song. See, one, two, three, four. And at this point, if you're already at this point in the program, then you already know how to count uh, uh, bars and measures and all that kind of stuff. So now we're just going to go up to the LCD. And you're going to click on this little arrow right here, this little uh, drop down menu arrow thing. And you're going to click on that and you're going to make sure that you are on beats and project. OK, so once you have this window up here and it's uh, and it, you're on bars and pro on beats and project, you're going to see that it says bar right there under number one. It says beat. This here is your tempo. If you hover your mouse over, it, it will show you that. This is your time signature, and this is your key signature. Now watch what happens when I move the playhead. See what happens right there? So look, my playhead is on four, bar four, right? And it also tells me right here that the playhead is, in bar four, is on bar four. So as the playhead goes along, if I hit play, see, it, it gives you a readout of what bar the playhead is on and what beat it's on. See that? So very important. Now this LCD can be opened in a bunch of different versions. If we click on this drop down and go to Beats and Project Large, it's gonna actually add, it's gonna make things a little bit bigger and it's gonna spread things out a little bit and it's going to add things uh, looking a little different, right? But again, you have bar, beat. Now it's showing you division, it's showing you tick, and it's showing you the key signature in its own window instead of mashed up with your time signature, okay? Uh, these other ones, beats and time, so this is gonna show you bars, beats, and how much time has passed. So let's say if you're on B, let's say you're on um, bar, 12, bar 14, and you need to know how long that is, there it is, it's 26 seconds, right? So you get time and you get bars, and you get um, you get beat. So same thing here. It just it's a bigger version. It shows you division and ticks, and um, this will just show you the beats and bars. See that? And time is just going to show you the elapsed time or the time in the in the session or the song. Okay. Me personally, I like to keep mine on custom. So let's go down the custom. Now custom is going to show you time up here. It's gonna show you beats, bars, divisions, and ticks under time. It's gonna show you tempo, time signature. It's going to show you MIDI in, MIDI out. And it's going to show you the CPU usage or the CPU load. This shows you the performance, how your computer is performing with the session. This is all very important as well. If your computer is slowing down constantly, uh, that all that all can be seen here it can show you how your computer is performing so I normally keep mine on uh, custom okay another window I want to show you I want to click on this arrow again and I want to go down to right here open giant time display this is a very important window for me personally and I would suggest that you use this as well so if I'm editing say I'm editing a radio commercial now notice I grabbed it right here on the corner and I was able to make it bigger or smaller so let's say I'm working on a commercial, a radio commercial for a client. For instance, we just did an Opryland thing uh, a month ago and it needed to be 30 seconds long, no, no longer than 30 seconds. So I'm able to grab my playhead, right? And I'm able to move my playhead until, see right there where it says, now look, now I know that measure 16. See how it says 16? 
Also, if I go up here, bar 16, measure 16, that's where my 32nd mark is. So then what I did was, I literally just opened the cycle bar, went from one all the way up to 16, and I knew that that was my limit. So when I was uh, editing the commercial, I had to make sure that it ended right there at 30 seconds. See that? So that's why this is super important and it is super helpful. Anyway, guys, make sure that you uh, understand that LCD. I know I moved a little bit fast, but I'm going to start moving a little bit faster to make sure that you're keeping up. This will keep you from falling asleep during these tutorials, to be honest with you. So if I moved a little too fast, the great part is you can rewind the video and uh, yeah, come back when you're ready. Thanks.